Do you know what the smartest people in the world are doing? I'm trying to imagine them lounging in their secret layers. They're probably wearing long, flowing, unicolor robes. They have oversized, bulging skulls to house their massive 3,000 cc brains. I bet there's lights and screens everywhere, data and text and insights flying around the room faster than you can think, like a bout outtake from NCIS. All of their attention and energy is focused on one thing. That's discovering new ways to distract you. These geniuses, they work for tech companies like Google, Apple, and Facebook. And for all the talk of startups changing the world, most of them are just advertising companies. Google, they make their money from ads. Facebook, ads. YouTube, ads. Snapchat, ads. Snapchat doesn't make money anymore, but they used to make money from ads. Apple, Apple makes money by selling you devices for looking at ads. And if you're not using the service of one of these startups, then you're not seeing their ads and you're not making them money. So what do they do about that? They turn you into addicts. They use a Pavlovian attention action reward cycle to keep you hooked all day. Now, you remember Pavlov, right? He's the Russian scientist who trained his dog to expect sausages every time a bell rang. Remember that the next time your phone beeps. And actually, we have it worse than Pavlov's dog. At least he got sausages. All we get is a distraction. Plus, he was a dog, so he probably wasn't doing anything better with his time anyway. You, on the other hand, you have important stuff to do, my friend. But when your phone's whizzing and vibrating every minute, it's impossible to get any meaningful work done. Luckily, there's a solution, and ironically enough, it comes in the form of an app. Though you can adapt the principle in any way you see fit. It's called the Pomodoro Technique. With the Pomodoro Technique, you work in 25-minute blocks. The rule is, during those 25 minutes, you do real work, and you focus only on the task at hand. That means your phone's off, you're not checking Facebook, no email, nothing. Every 25 minutes, you take a five-minute break. Now, during that break, you can do all the impulsive, addictive social media stuff you want or read a book, whatever. I'll tell you a secret. Over time, you rewire your brain brain where you can't hardly handle that stuff anymore. After three or four of those work blocks, you take a longer break. It's 15, 25, 20 minutes, whatever works. And at the end of the day, you can see how many Pomodoros you have. The more, the better. Plus, the Pomodoro technique uses the same Pavlovian cycle to get you addicted to productive work. You do 10 Pomodoros a day, and I promise you will have a happier, more fulfilled, more accomplished career. And you'll be able to afford all the sausages you want. Now, if you do any sort of work that requires technology or a deep focus, you may find this life-changing. If you're on a Mac, I recommend an app called Pomodoro Time. It integrates right in your little uh, taskbar. Uh, there's an iOS app called Focus Keeper, which is supposed to be very good. For a web-based solution, have a look at tomato.es. This is what I use personally. I'll link to it below. So get out there and destroy those evil tech geniuses and their app notification henchmen. P.S. I'd like to send a shout out to Glenn Alsop of ViperChill.com for re first recommending Pomodoro. All right, guys, Kyle Duck here. Um, if you like this video, then do me a favor, like I don't like it, share it, whatever. Hit one of those buttons below because that like helps with the YouTube algorithm, which I'm trying to figure out. Uh, I'll upload videos every every weekday, every workday on productivity, tech, entrepreneurship, and also from time to time behind the scenes videos. Uh, building out my startup triumph.ai so if you're into any of those things if that sounds cool to you then do whatever it is you do to uh, watch the channel i'll be back again tomorrow cheers Kyle.